Hi, this is Evo from Playable Agency, here with Lightform Backgrounds. Today, we're going to take a look at the Lightform LF2, using light art on top of art to make backgrounds on top of a painting by Christina McAllister. First, let's start with unboxing the LF2. The LF2 is an all-in-one unit with projector and light scanning capability in one. On the back, you'll see HDMI and USB inputs, as well as where the power cord is plugged in. Go to lightform.com slash go to make sure you are paired with your Lightform and begin scanning. To get a great scan, you're going to want to light it up well using a mix of overhead and natural light and watch for glare. The structured light scan will take a few minutes. You'll see that the scan is capturing both the distance and the objects in front of the projector by being paired to your computer. You can then paint with light using your light form. Here's a bit of how that works. You want to select shapes within your scene and give them different effects. Effects can be generative, they can include text, images, video, or built-in generative effects you'll find inside your Lightform Creator tool. Try rounded objects, organic objects like flowers, and adding layers. And then make sure your Lightform is plugged in with HDMI to publish directly to the device. This way you can see your results, add layers, or try adding more slides for animated effects. Here's the Lightform creator and how those layers work. Try publishing fairly regularly to test different effects on top of your scene. Each object can be selected separately and you can add layers including color, generative effects, video, in opaque or transparent layers. You can also hide the layers so that you can see your work as you're selecting. After you've selected, check the library for a wide variety of effects and assets or upload your own to try new types of effects together. When you're done, move those layers around. You can turn up and down the tolerance in order to have less dots there on the screen and see your new layer is then added with a new effect. And here's what that looks like. Save and publish your work and then you're ready to go live. The Lightform does not need to be plugged into your USB or HDMI after you've uploaded your designs. It does, however, need to be plugged in to a power outlet. So this scene is about a dozen layers, including the generative effects on the frame and many different video effects. But you can also try different layering and glitch and edging effects to give it a different look altogether. This was for a nightclub dance scene, including a game show that was run on Zoom. So to put this as part of our Zoom background, in this case, we did live Zoom, where you see Scott and Evo direct with the Zoom backgrounds. Lightform in this case is projecting directly onto aspects of the background scene. 
Subscribe to Playable Agency for more tutorials like this one. Uh, we want to hear your thoughts. So go ahead and reach out to me anytime. If you need to remember my name, it's right there on my back. I don't know if you can see that, Evo. Hit us up at Playable Agency.